what extremely rare thing did you witness in person? July 2011 I say to my wife the International Space Station is going over tonight, it's a clear sky, and we agree to pop out to the country where there is less light pollution and take the kids who are 12 and 8. We park in a field gate and the youngest boy sees it first we watch and it goes overhead. And then splits in two. We watch it, I am thinking has it broken up or something? The two parts slowly move apart. We are puzzled, I drive home and thinking any disaster would be on the news, so I watch that. Turns out, the final shuttle mission had just been completed and we had watched shuttle Atlantis depart the ISS for the final time. Now that's crazy cool. I saw someone take off their cap and stamp on it like they do in cartoons. Back in the 1980s, I was on a plane and saw the space shuttle being carried piggyback on another plane. I saw a shuttle launch from Canaveral in the early 90s from my grandparents' front yard. Maybe not as big of a deal nowadays with all the launches going on. But it blew my mind and instantly got me into space-related things. I saw a wheel come loose off a van as it attempted a right-hand turn. The wheel rolled through traffic into the open bay of a tire store across the street. One in a million odds. I was on a train and nobody else in the train car saw it happen. I saw a woman slip on a banana peel. As a child I was as so positive that was some cartoon stuff but I clearly never had the opportunity to see if it was real until one day at recess. We were all walking to the field where we went for recess and on the concrete path was a discarded banana peel. Why was it there? Who knows? But on this day, I decided to say nothing and stand off to the side of the path and watch as the rest of the kids came running to the field poor Samantha S. She got one foot on that thing mid-run and it's like friction ceased to exist. Couldn't believe it to this day, I am sorry Samantha S. For not warning you about the banana peel but your fall was in the service of science. Samantha S. Slipped serving science. Samantha S. Still sore since slipping. Edit, thank you, kind stranger, for the award. Cute one. Edit again, thank you second kind stranger for the silver award. Saw two turtle doves fly into each other head on. They were probably distracted by the partridge in the pear tree. I saw Niagara Falls mostly frozen over in February 2015. It was eerily quiet. I watched a small, unmanned, boat go over Niagara Falls the only time I've ever been there. When the news reported it later they said it had broken free of its mooring and floated down to the falls. Did the boat survive? I saw a fish fall out of the sky during a particularly rainy day. Hit the ground and got swept into the gutter. I found a fish in my front yard dot miles and miles from water. Found a seahorse on a sidewalk once. Probably birds. I doubt they confused a seahorse with a bird. I was swimming in the Pacific when four dolphins swam up to me, danced in circles, and swam between my legs. When they got close again I noticed one of the four looked more like a baby orca, that was a bright indigo color with a very tall dorsal fin. It barely looked real. I pet them all and they swam off to play in the waves. It was the most magical moment of my life. I didn't know this but dolphins are social and curious as shit. We had a party on a boat and in my country Therese a bunch of dolphins, they legit just watch you and follow you around it's super strange. They're like people. When I visited Brazil for a study abroad opportunity in college, I remember noticing the same thing about the river dolphins in the Amazon. They'd just follow the canoes we were in, blowing air at us and just following us to see where we were going. We'd see one or two without fail every day. I miss those guys. Flying to Reno back in the 90s. There was this awesome comet that turned out to have a bigger display than people predicted, I forget which comet it was, winter of 96 or 97. Anyway, looked out the window. Clear sky, full moon lighting up the mountains, and this big ass comet hanging below the moon. It was awesome. Halbop Comet probably. I remember seeing it and it was awesome. Also famous for being the inspiration for the Heaven's Gate cult mass suicide. I remember that comet, I was in grade school, coming home at night in the suburbs and seeing it hanging just below the moon in the sky. Amazing. In South Africa thunderstorms are quite common, but they were always the usual sheet or fork lightning, nothing special. The one time there were these strange looking storm clouds very high up above us, much higher than regular storm thunder clouds, and the lightning was these slow moving bolts, think of a short laser beam of lightning, 
shooting between these clouds. It was the wackiest thing I ever saw. Was it traveling up and or across? Sounds like it could be spider lightning. When lightning travels up the cloud, it can take a long time because of the distance. Spider lightning. It wasn't forked lightning, nor were they solid lines of lightning that grew in length. It was literally short bolts shooting between the clouds. Think Star Wars pew pew lasers, but in the form of small individual pieces of lightning shooting slowly from one cloud across to the other. I had another search on Google Images, this is the closest thing I could find to the shape of it. Obviously they were more lightning colored and not the blue in this image, cdn.staticcrate.com stock defects footage a crate looping blaster bolt electric prev full.png so just imagine these, shooting between the clouds at random intervals. Saw a manta ray leap out of the water and over a family playing in the water just off the coast of South Carolina. It didn't make a sound or as much as a splash. I was pretty young but remember it as clear as yesterday. One of the most beautiful things I have ever witnessed. Also quite amazing how big those things are. In 1974 I was living in Delray Beach and I was hanging out at the back door looking out talking to my sister who lived in Illinois. All of a sudden there was a huge ball of fire in the sky and I told her I thought an airplane had just exploded over the West Palm Beach airport. Later watching the news I learned that it was a meteor that had fallen into Lake Okeechobee. Wow, your voice must carry. It's called Illinois for a reason. My older cousin was teaching me and my younger cousin how to play poker. My younger cousin had four out of five cards for a royal straight flush. My older cousin told him not to draw more cards because the chances of getting a royal straight flush was pretty much impossible and was imploring him not to do it. My younger cousin did it anyways and got a ducking royal straight flush. We all lost our minds and laugh about it 15 years later as adults. The odds of this are 1 in 2.5 million. My gramps used to play blackjack on the original NES. One day he tried teaching me how to play, I was 6 or so. I had a face card and a 7. He told me to stay, I hit. Got a 3 and he had a fit. Now Hess doubling the pressure on me to stand, stay at 20. I didn't like the pressure but found his expressions hilarious. He was really into blackjack. So I hit, got an ace and he proceeded to pace around the house swearing about how lucky I was. Best time ever edit, whoa, woke up to this. Thanks for the awards. It really is the one of the best moments I had with my grandfather. And I love the rare card win stories. Friend of mine playing 21 in Red Dead Redemption, had never played before got 20 hit it and got an ace, I did the same thing as your gramps. Actually saw a tree fall in the forest onto the trail ahead of us as we were hiking in a national park. Did it make a sound? I knew that one was coming. Yes, it did, and the people on the trail who had just passed under that trail certainly heard it too. I saw someone drive off with the nozzle from the gas pump. It triggered the fire suppression system and everything looked like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man exploded. When I was 16 or 17 I had just finished filling my tank and got in my car and was slowly pulling away when I saw the gas station attendant sprinting at my car. I kept slowly advancing while wondering WTF he was doing. He full on sprinted and yanked the nozzle out of my gas tank. I had no idea but even to this day I think, what a hero. Saved my dumb ass from embarrassment and saved his gas pump too. One time I drove away from a pump with it still in my car, and the pump just fell harmlessly to the ground. I stopped the car and put it back and looked around and nobody saw it. I got lucky. I think most modern gas stations have this quick release system now. I've definitely done it once as well and went to tell the worker and he was like yeah no big deal it happens all the time and clicked it back on. Edit, why did this comment blow up? I worked at a gas station for a year when I was in college. They're designed to just disconnect safely. The problem is that there's just a little bump when it separates, so people might not be aware of what they've just done. Watched a guy pull out onto a major road and drive away with a nozzle and a couple feet of hose attached to his car.